Running the defense, Long leaning in. North Carolina lost in the national championship to Villanova. Oh, this year, handling the basketball, oftentimes getting his hands on it but unable to secure it, and turning into turnovers for Virginia. Block goes down in the seat of his pants, got the pass away to Mason Faulkner, preventing a turnover. He'll drive it, he was stopped. Well, we're six and a half minutes in, Jordan, and Louisville still not only in the ball game, but looking pretty good up five. It's the zone. Clark able to dribble down and get into the lane. Nice little touch on that little floater in the lane. Turn around. ALS, a disease his father tragically passed away from. He established a research fund at Duke University in that regard. You can see the amount of donations that have been given back to this and then even the 35 coaches you put this out there i didn't want to play to begin with <laughs> i hope mike young doesn't get the brian flores treatment <laughs> and come on our first and our last installment of buy and sell ladies and gentlemen hope you enjoyed it thanks for taking a ride hunter could see if they can get the ball into hugley Burton against Beekman, spinning, but not scoring. And great time in Navy basketball. And, and last year was an excellent squad, and they bring back so much from that team. Yeah, and they lost. They lose very close. West looking to get it in. Guys for Ellis, the jumper. Dome at 8 Eastern, 7 Central. It's number 10, Baylor, hosting number 5, Kansas. In a block. 7 and 2 in conference, number 20, Notre Dame at 6 and 2. Happening too fast for him out of the gates. Catch and shoot, Couture. 16% on to 3 throughout this season. Reek Beesman Reek having a great start to this game. Clever minutes into this second half. Tigers have missed their last four threes after a red hot start from deep. And we talked about early, Clemson can't fall in love with the three. Reese Beekman players. But this is a game where Virginia is going to be able to overpower FDU in the painted area. The concern for Virginia comes do you build habits that are just 18 and a half points, nine rebounds a game, 81 career games in East Carolina. Here's a three. A.J. Reeves off the bench. Rule, uh, I don't think there's any place for it in any level, college or pro. And, you know, guys will get the hint real quick. Obviously, in a tight game like this, that's the last thing you want to do. And just a warning that time. Same play they ran the last time. Now they go 1-4. Flatten out for DeVoe to go one-on-one. -on -one. Top fadeaway, short. Gafaro. They've done a terrific job of that, particularly in the second half. Boy, there's a lot of contact between John and Shedrick inside. Samuel Williams should have back into the game. Look at Faulkner forcing these and turned it into three baskets. That's how you come back on the road. Pull up, pop. Pitch. Durham with Beekman on him. One of the best on ball defenders in the country. Durham over the top. Another kick yeah. out. You're going to give playing time. Yeah, for, yeah and for a team. And, you know, when they won their national championship, they could really score the ball as well as. Not to mention the multiple transfers that you have. It almost would have been easier for Coach Ben Howland to know that he didn't have. No, Virginia doesn't want to be in the NIT seven consecutive NCAA tournaments before this year, but Tony Bennett is proud of his makes it an eight-point ball game once again. Well, they are tied up, loses it to and pick it wild, and it was physical. And T. A. Clark taking on the physicality in the painted area once again, going to score. David Sellers double team, but put it out of reach. But I'd say you want to get to the finals. Keels guarded by Beekman. Picks up his dribble. Beekman knocks it away. Keels retains. And Beekman got him again. That's especially offensively giving him multiple opportunities. 
got the fresh 20 with the offensive rebound. That's from Ben Kip. Three speakmen in any event. More six for now, and we'll get some medical attention. And some breathing fire defensively. Both teams around 20% shooting for the game. Nine and a half minutes to go in our first half. Arabia, his progress impeded. He'll break Cody. I see you today. <laughs> He has tied his career high with those 11 points. He can double digits. Gardner is kind of bursting two for ten now for Virginia, number one. 17 rebounds now for Baycott. He ties the career high. He set Wednesday night at Notre Dame. For Armando Baycott already. He had a double-double at halftime against Notre Dame. Well, I tell you, Love gave Beekman every move that he had right there, and Beekman stayed with him. That was good offense and better defense. Scores for the Cavaliers. Franklin Gardner and Beekman turned around to see Kihei. That's exactly right. He gave his back to Clark. So that was uncontested. Beekman reading the defense. They jump high. You take baseline and just finishing easily at the basket. And here he is on defense, pokes it away. He's late in the clock. Virginia having a tough time getting anything going on the offensive end. Good handle by yeah. Marcus Sasser as he's going down against a great defender in Reese Beekman. Yeah, great hands by Beekman, great handle by Sasser. And there's Beekman again. Boy, he can... Virginia has been outside the top five. And that was Tony Bennett's second season here in Charlottesville. It really is incredible, and it continues to be incredible. Reese Beekman with another steal. Virginia looking for their first lead tonight. Frank in a good position to win this basketball game. But if you allow the Bonnies out in transition, they have shown that they are lethal. Shit. Gardner knocks it down. Cling on to a two-point lead with three minutes left. Franklin for three. Beekman and Clark, two-headed point guard for Virginia to UMBC. And well, that's to their, why I didn't say it. Well, you know, I but. had to say it. It's part of my job. <laughs> but to their credit, as we saw in the fabulous documentary, we put defense, and, and it is well documented why, and it's the way they should be remembered. Franklin for three. Up these cuts so hard. Whips a pass to Beekman. Gets it back. Open again. Whoa! But the 80s, early 90s, I mean, that, that's the sweet spot for me. That miss from Gardner. But the back tap. Cut far! The 1 3 1. Continue to get the ball inside, play inside out, and when you get opportunities that set, take advantage. Instant access. Carolina, you talk about a, a tough team to predict. Whoa! It's offense. Vintage Virginia hoops is what we're seeing right now. Last foul on Aline, his second. Beekman. He just rips just away to get a little bit of an rebound. offensive rebound. Yeah. That's what you're going to see. You want to see more of that. They're struggling in the half court. Shedrick and a foul. And a rebound for Tane Murray, who again had played almost no minutes. Turnaround not there for Van Caro. A good look for Kihei. Teams in a row, double figure scoring for Lou Rabia. Oh, he's a foul. Shedrick came over. Stepping on the run, trying to get by Whip, and he lays it in. Themselves for the remainder of the season, and what they're going to see in ACC play, which is part of the reason why they're going with the post trap here in the second half. Franklin from deep. Couldn't finish around Kafaro, and Hughley's sitting on just two points. It's really good defense by Kafaro. Hughley back in the game for the Panthers. Nice defense. Beekman took it away from Ezi Akuda and finds Shedrick trailing. Easier for Coach Ben Howland to know that he didn't have Tony Smith and Rocket Watts coming up during the season. Reese Beekman. Put back, no. Loose ball allowed by Beekman. Away he goes. Sends it down. Here's the steal. Beekman for the 
They looked into Kihei Clark. There were a lot of questions about Clark. Was he big enough? Was he good enough? Fires a three. Catches the front of the iron. Clark on the move. Bounce path ahead. Here we go. Sasser. And there's Beekman again. Boy, he can do that as well as anybody in the country. And he'll lay it in at the other end. I thought we were off to a, you know, a 35, 40 point half. Virginia's scoreless for now well over seven minutes. The Bonnie's not much going for them either. Two of their last 12. Two point ball game. You think if Brooks were to say something to me, he'd say, stop talking about me going inside. You see my stroke. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice drop. Right down. That wing position. What a play that was. Incredible upside on John Butler. You can't teach 7-1. No, you can't. <laughs> it's a drive. Oh, and down. The Hurricanes two weeks ago. It's big because then he allows for spacing in this Virginia offense. Cutters for driving away. There, Cafaro chasing the handler downhill. Had no shot. You look at the Ken Palm defensive efficiency numbers as Beekman throws a whole lot of basketball still to be played. Carolina getting into the lane where they can make a play. Boy, Beekman. And now no Jaden Gardner on the floor after picking up his second foul. And so where will Virginia's offense come from? Out. Bohannon continues to make big shot after big shot. Beekman against Bohannon. Count Beekman scores plus a foul. Under three minutes in regulation. Beekman. Statman gives it back. Beekman for three. Chest. Good faith. Great look for Beekman. A James half court defense. Another offensive rebound. Kicked out for three. Gets it into Clark. And I think he's still adjusting. Making him guess a little bit on what he needs to go to. Another outside shot for Virginia. That is very hot. Remember that magic number of 10, and they've already got two in the opening two minutes. Beekman trying to counter. He knocks it down. He's caught. Two seconds left on the shot clock. Beekman hoists and his half. It's been a two-point game or less. So one possession game back and forth between these two teams. Beekman bear. For sure. We know the Bennett way, the, the Tony Bennett uh, program that he likes to run. And, and also just the pillars as we see a three go down. 